Are you working with a vast data set in Excel? Is it quite hard to look at and find specific data from the data set? But Excel is awesome. It has many built-in functions and features to find your desired data from a data set no matter what the size of the data set is. Hey there Excel enthusiasts, welcome to Excel Demi, your go-to destination for mastering Excel and Excel VBA related challenges. I'm Sharia Abra Rafid and in today's video, I'll be showing a detailed guide on how to create a lookup table in Excel. So let's roll up our slips and get started. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. Suppose I have a data set containing some product IDs, their corresponding delivery status and prices of those products. I'll show the way to find specific data from the data set by creating lookup table. Let's start with the most efficient one. I'll use the XLOOKUP function to create a lookup table. First, I'll create a data range for the lookup table. Write the headings in cells F4 and G4. I'm assuming it product ID and price. Select these cells, make them bold. From the alignment section, make them middle aligned and center aligned. Now give a suitable background fill color. Select cells in the A4 to G5 range and apply all borders. Also apply accounting format to cell G5. Now in cell F5, write the product ID whose price you want to find. Then write the formula in cell G5 equal to here I'll use the XLOOKUP function. Press tab to insert the highlighted function. As the lookup value argument, select cell F5, comma, as the lookup array argument, select B5 to B11 range, comma, as the return array argument, select the range D5 to D11. Close the parenthesis. This formula looks for the value in cell F5 within the range B5 to B11. Once it finds a match, it will return the corresponding value from the range D5 to D11. Press enter and match this result with this data set. But this function is available only in Excel 365. If you have Excel 2016 or 2019 versions, you won't be able to use this function to create the lookup table. But don't worry, you could use the upcoming methods that I'll show in the later sections of this tutorial. I can also use the lookup function of Excel to create the lookup table, but this time I'll make it more convenient. In the previous method, I entered the product ID manually, but now I'll select the preferred product ID from the available list of options. To do this, I'll use the data validation feature of Excel. So select cell F5, go to the data tab, in the data tools section, click on data validation option. It will open the data validation dialog box. In the settings tab, Choose list from the allow drop down and as the source select cells B5 to B11 and click OK. Hence you can see a drop down icon beside cell F5. Click on it, it will show the list of the product IDs. Now select a product ID from the list. Go to cell G5 and insert the formula equal to lookup. As the lookup value argument, select cell F5, comma, as the lookup vector argument, select B5 to B11 comma as the result vector argument select cells in the d5 to d11 range close the parenthesis this formula works the same as the previous one press enter and see the result in this method i'll use one of the most used functions of excel which is the vlookup function this function looks for a given value in the leftmost column of a given table and returns a value in the same row from the specified column First, select the product ID. Now, enter the formula in cell G5 equal to VLOOKUP as the lookup value argument select cell F5, comma, as the table array argument select the range B5 to D11, comma, as the column index number argument I'm writing down 3 because I want to find out the price of the respective product and the prices are in the third column of this table, comma, as the range lookup argument I'll select FALSE which is for exact match. Close the parenthesis. This formula looks in the specific table B5 to D11 for the value in cell F5. Once it finds that value, it returns the value from the third column of the table which is column D and ensures that it's an exact match. Press enter and you will see the result instantly. This method is almost the same as the previous one. Here I'll use the HLOOKUP function which works in the same column. 
Here, you have to count the row number of the preferred data manually. First, in cell F5, write the name of the column from where we'll pick the desired data. I'm writing product ID. Then, in cell G5, write the formula equal to HLOOKUP. As the lookup value argument, select cell F5, comma, as the table array argument, select the range B4 to D11, comma, as the row index number argument, I'm writing down 5, comma, as the range lookup argument, I'll write down 0, which is for exact match. Close the parenthesis. This formula searches in a specific table B4 to D11 for a particular value in cell F5. Once it finds that value, it should give you the value in the fifth row of the same column. However, it will only work if it finds an exact match for the value in cell F5 in the first row of the table. Press enter. Finally, you will see the product ID of the fifth row of the selected column as I used 5 as the argument. The combination of the index function and the match function can be used to create the lookup table. I'll use structured referencing in this method to avoid errors while inserting arguments in complex formulas. A structured reference is a syntax that refers to a table names instead of cell references. Using structured references in an Excel table, you can make your formulas dynamic. First, I have to convert the entire dataset to table. You have to select any cell inside the table. Go to the Insert tab in the Tables group of commands, click on the Table icon. Also, you can press Ctrl plus T keyboard shortcut to do the same. It will open the Create Table dialog box. You can see the entire data range is selected automatically. Make sure to check the box of My Table has headers and click OK. Now, this dataset is converted into a table. Whenever you select a cell inside this range, you can see the Table Design Contextual tab. From here, you can see the table name. My table name is table1. Also, you can change the table styles from this section. Now, select the product ID. Enter the formula in cell G5 equal to index. As the error argument, I'll select the range D5 to D11. Look, this range is automatically changed into the column name of the respective table. And that's the power of structured referencing. Comma. As the row num argument, I'll use another function which is the match function. As the lookup value argument, I'll select cell F5. Comma. As the lookup array argument, I'll insert the product ID column. This time, I'll insert the column name. Table 1. Give a third bracket and select the column product ID. Close the third bracket. Comma. Insert 0 for exact match. Close the parenthesis. This match function searches for the value in cell F5 within the range B5 to B11, which is the product ID column. Then 0 ensures an exact match. It returns the relative row number of the matched value in the corresponding array. Then it takes the result of the match function as the row num argument of the index function and returns the value in this position from the D5 to D11 range, which is the price column of this table. Now hit enter and you'll see the desired price in cell G5. Match the result with the dataset. In this tutorial, I have shown multiple methods to create a lookup table in Excel. Follow them carefully to apply this knowledge in your practical field. Use the one that comes in handy for you. Download the workbook from the description box so you can practice it yourself. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comments section. You can have a glance at exceldemy.com or join our thriving Exceldemy community forum where you can post your Excel and Vivia challenges and get solutions from experts and fellow users. If you like this video, consider subscribing and click the bell icon. Thanks for watching.